Hi Taurus, welcome to your monthly reading for June 2019. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the sign of Taurus, please. What does Taurus need to hear? This is already intense. <laughs> What else does Taurus need to hear, please? Wow. What is up, Taurus? <laughs> What is the most important message for the sign of Taurus, please? June 2019, the most important message. Taurus. I don't know what's going on with this group of Tauruses that I am reading for, but wow, there's a lot of intense energy. Um, the Eight of Swords. So the Eight of Swords is about being tied to your thoughts, worries, fear, feeling like you're stuck, feeling like there's no way out of something for some of you. But the Eight of Swords, um, really unnecessary worry and a lot of this is mental activity. So for some of you, we are in Gemini season, Mercury in Gemini, Sun in Gemini. You may be feeling your thoughts a lot more, more intense thoughts, more intense fears, the swords, you know, that is air, energy, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. So you may be feeling this a bit strongly. Definitely some anxiety here. Um, not just some, a lot. Fear and worry. So we have the Nine of Wands, and that is about perseverance and pushing through, no matter how tired you feel, exhausted, um, difficult cycles when we enter this Nine of Wands. It is saying that you are moving forward here, and there is a lot about moving forward, standing up for yourself, standing your ground, being passionate about something here. So whatever this is, you may have to stand up for yourself. This can be involving money and finances with the Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles can talk about the challenges around money. So if you've been dealing with challenges, you may have to stand up for yourself here with something involving your money and finances. This may be a workplace thing, maybe feeling like the need to ask for a raise because you work really hard, um, maybe a position. This could be somebody around you. We have the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Swords is about clarity. It's about choices. It is, this definitely can deal with something legally too with the Ace of Swords because there can be decisions that are being made. Um, something maybe that you're waiting on. But the Ace of Swords, whatever this situation is that you are facing, this does talk about being successful and coming through on the other side winning. Um, so Try not to worry so much about this. Don't let this consume your thoughts because we have that happening here with the Eight of Swords in the Moon energy. Two of Swords is not really wanting to face something. Um, so you may be finding ways to try to avoid dealing with it. The Two of Swords also deals with the need to create some balance before communicating, before discussing things. Um, balance will help you through this. Especially with communication, be careful of that with this um, Gemini season, especially this coming week. 
There's a lot going on there with communication. Things may come spewing out. We have the Nine of Swords with the worry, the fear, the anxiety. Then we have Knight of Cups and we have the Moon. So Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. This can be some kind of news surrounding you emotionally. This can be some kind of um, an offer. And yes, this can be something emotional involving um, a date, uh, somebody who's interested in you. But with the moon here, you may be so consumed by these thoughts that you're not paying attention to this or you're questioning somebody's motives here. The moon card, the sign of Pisces with a tarot deck. So in astrology, the moon is cancer ruled. So it is water energy. Let's take a look. With the moon, definitely some fear. I feel like for some of you, whatever the situation is, you don't have all the information yet and things are just being worked out. So let's take a look. What is going on with this Eight of Swords energy for Taurus, please? Eight of Swords. Whatever the situation is, maybe calling for you to empower yourself, stand up for yourself. What is the Eight of Swords? Yeah, we've got justice. So this can definitely be waiting on a legal matter, a decision, a choice that maybe you have to make that you're not wanting to deal with at this time because you don't want to deal with the stress. Justice is talking about things that need to be balanced out. So if you have been somehow screwed over or someone's cross watching for a Taurus, this is talking about the scales of balance, needing to be balanced. Um, something definitely going on here that is extremely stressful, emotionally draining. Let's take a look at that Five of Pentacles. What is this Five of Pentacles energy for Taurus? Well, we've already got the Nine of Swords again. <laughs> okay, yeah, so this fear, this worry, do not let this get in your way. Do not let this deplete your energy. The Queen of Swords, the Knight of Wands, this is about pushing through with a choice or a decision. This is about standing your ground, speaking your truths, and... This needs to happen. This energy has to happen. Um, the Queen of Swords. So there's definitely a need here for you to continue with whatever this is and get what's rightfully yours. The Knight of Wands energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But what that energy is, is about pushing through, being fearless. This is both a fearless energy. Knight of Wands, a little bit more wild and less mature than the Queen of Swords. The Knight of Wands doesn't care about anything just decides to push through um, very strongly. It's a strong, strong energy. So Queen of Swords, yeah, this needs to happen. Let's take a look. So, you know, with that Seven of Wands and Ace of Swords, power in your words. Let's take a look at the Ace of Swords and then we'll look at the Knight of Cups. We have the King of Cups, we have the Six of Cups. So King of Cups, this can be a male figure, regardless whether it's male or female, this is a general reading. Um, this is deep emotional energy. It is also with the King of Cups about having emotional balance. Now with the Six of Cups, this can be a situation from the past. This can be something involving children, okay? Let's take a look at the Knight of Cups, please. Knight of Cups. What is this Knight of Cups energy? Knight of Cups for Taurus, please. Okay. And so we have the Ten of Swords. We have the Seven of Swords, and then we have the Queen of Cups. So Ten of Swords, Seven of Swords, this energy, this is a difficult cycle that you have been dealing with. 
with the Ten of Swords, it is about the ending of this. For some of you, you may feel backstabbed here due to this person's behavior. The Seven of Swords, escapism. So yes, this can be a matter where somebody may have been deceptive towards you, um, which can be lying or cheating, um, but it's not always that. With the Seven of Swords, sometimes this is about someone that is just being greedy, Queen of Cups, a very emotional energy here. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces with the Queen of Cups. This is something that is very important to you. This is something that is deeply emotional. So that could be why there is so much anxiety here and so much stress over whatever this is. But everything is going to work out in your favor, especially with that Ace of Swords energy. Um... Again, the Ace of Swords is success. So if this is something that has just recently started or maybe something that's coming to an end, expect things to work out in your favor. Even if it's not everything that you have wanted, it's going to work out as to what is best for you. All right, Taurus. I hope you guys have a good June. Um, if you'd like a private reading, that information's in the description box below along with the link to my Facebook and Instagram. Take care.